Roblox YouTubers are some of the most liked people on the entire planet, but sometimes they do things that nobody likes. Today, I'm going to be going over some of the most offensive things Roblox YouTubers have ever done. Welcome back to Roblox Control, let's get into the video. Number 6, Flamingo Back in the Day. This one is pretty surprising and not a lot of people don't know about it. It's all about Flamingo and the type of content he used to make way back in the day. First, you guys need to know that Flamingo is not his first YouTube channel. He had a YouTube channel way before and he was completely different back then. He looks and sounds so different, right? It's so crazy. This is back when he was still in college, which is a couple of years ago. His channel was then called Albert Stuff. On this channel, he used to play CSGO, but he also started playing Roblox on that channel too. But on this channel, he used to curse a lot and say a lot of really inappropriate stuff, so it was not family friendly at all. He tried to be family friendly when he started playing Roblox, but his old content stopped him from making the money he was supposed to make from his videos. So that is exactly why he made a new channel called Flamingo. He still says quite a few crazy stuff from time to time, but it is definitely not as bad as the things he used to say back in the day. What does that mean? You gotta click all the lamps or something? What's the issue? Why is it so noisy? Ah! Oh god! It teleported me! It's te Number 5, Lisa Gaming Roblox. The whole world is in a state of emergency after the rise of the coronavirus throughout the whole globe. The virus managed to shut down whole economies and cause people to become jobless and homeless. Moreover, it managed to take the life of millions and is still continuing to do so. Clearly the disease is no joke and is something which is to be taken extremely seriously. However, Lisa Gaming did not seem to get this memo as she released a video where she was claiming to get corona and claimed she needed surgery. This makes it quite obvious that she is lying about contracting the disease, as no treatment in corona requires surgery, since it is mainly a disease which targets the lungs. She lied about having the disease just to rack up more views and gain more subs, as people would subscribe to her out of sympathy. However, people actually saw through her whole charade and started unsubscribing and stopped watching her videos. Four, Coral from the Pals fights with a fan. Back in the day, there used to be a YouTube Roblox group made up of YouTubers Dennis, Alex, Sub, and Sketch. The group officially broke up on June 28th of 2019. Together, they were called the Pals. During their time together, something really bad happened. It involved one of the group members whose name was Coral. He was really rude to someone on Twitter, and it was a really big thing. His group members saw this and wanted him to put out an apology, but according to them, Coral was very rude towards them too. He refused to do it, and it was also pretty rude to the other group members. They then decided to kick him out of the group because they were really not happy with his action. This game's actually pretty relaxing. I lied. This game is actually very hard, as we can see displayed by my failure. Okay, round two. This is where it starts to get- Number three, Magpie. Now we have a YouTuber, or rather someone who used to be a YouTuber. This person went by the name of Magpie. Magpie had over 100,000 subscribers on his channel, and that is pretty good but he did a lot of bad stuff. This guy used to hack a lot of people. He would hack his Roblox fan accounts and even hack YouTubers too. He also used to do a lot of fake Robux giveaways. This guy was bad news. One of the biggest things he did was hack a Roblox YouTuber named Jeremy. Magpie made a video which shows him hacking Jeremy's Roblox account. He had full access to it, so he used all of Jeremy's Robux to buy his own Roblox clothing and other random items. It was really cool and mean. Number two, Jeremy calls Leah Ash a bully. I'm sure we all know Leah Ash as one of the biggest and also the nicest Roblox YouTuber in the community. She is really nice and well respected. That is why it is a huge surprise when Jeremy, who is another Roblox YouTuber, accused Leah Ash of being really mean and bullying him. This even surprised her a lot. Check this out. Leah Ash had to go on Twitter and make a video on her YouTube channel to address the rumors. Obviously they ended up being false and it was really bad of Jeremy to make some really bad accusations about her. She could have lost a lot of subscribers or even got canceled for something she didn't do. This for her fans, not her haters. Because we'll be talking about why she's actually not a bully. So if you support her, smash that like button and let's see if we can get at least 100 likes for Leah Ash. Number 1, Jeremy Breaking Rules. Jeremy got his Adopt Me account deleted one day and claimed he had no idea why. Someone who works in the Adopt Me team actually went out of his way to help Jeremy out and Jeremy ended up getting his account back. But then, soon after he got his account back, it was discovered that there was a good reason for his account getting deleted. Jeremy actually broke the Adopt Me terms of service by selling items online on eBay. The person who helped Jeremy was very angry because he felt like Jeremy deceived him and Jeremy did not deserve the help. This brings us to the end of our video, I hope you enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.